All righty, all righty. Thank you so much for joining our webinar today. I am super, super excited to have all you restoration contractors on here that are really looking to grow your business in 2021. I was going to say 2020, but that is in the rearview mirror, and we're focused on 2021 going forward. And this webinar today is for restoration contractors that are looking to get an internet marketing plan, a blueprint in place to, you know, generate more water, mold, and fire jobs. And that is the purpose of this webinar. My name is Sean McMean, and I am with uh, Vinnie Mac Restoration Marketing. So... Today's webinar is, is really going to be focusing on a couple of key factors here. Let me move my head out of the way down here. Um, today's webinar is really going to be focused on, on getting your goals right in 2020 and how many leads you really need to hit your target goals. And fo following that, you're going to be, we're going to be working on the three fundamentals of marketing success how to optimize your website for conversions in 2021 and beyond, the big picture for online marketing, and what marketing channels you need to focus in on that are gonna give you the most success. And we're gonna also talk about the latest trends that you need to focus in on, on 2021. And we're gonna develop an action plan, actionable results where you can take and implement in your restoration business. I hope that sounds good. If it does sound good, uh, enter a one into the chat. This is gonna be an interactive chat, interactive session here. So enter a one in the chat over there and uh, I'd love to hear you. Keep the energy up. I'm looking forward to any feedback and all feedback that you can give in the chat. We'll have the team monitoring that and so we'll, um, we'll respond to any questions that come about from there. So feel free to, uh, feel free to uh, chime in there. So just a few housekeeping things here as we uh, go on w with the webby here is um, I need your uh, undivided attention. I'm really going to give you all my all today, and I really want to make sure that you get as much value from this as possible. So please shut off all distractions, as much distractions as possible. Turn off your cell phones. Um, turn off the Facebook. And um, if you're really looking to have your restoration business grow this year, um, please dedicate this next 60 minutes uh, to, if you dedicate this next 60 minutes, it's gonna be life-changing for you. So I'm, 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 I'm super pumped. I hope you are too. Uh, and again, use that chat if you have any questions or, or any comments. And if you stay to the end, I got a big surprise for everybody that's in there. So the surprise is, okay, I'm gonna give you these three resources. These are resources that are really gonna be life-changing for you. And the first resource here is our 10-step online marketing success checklist. And this checklist is basically, you're gonna be able to step through this, make sure everything is in place for your restoration business. And then all the way to the right here, this is our advanced technical on-page SEO strategies. Game changer. If you um, if you know anything about SEO or if you don't know anything about SEO, you can use this. Um, if you have somebody that's doing SEO for you, you can give this to them and make sure they're doing all these things because they're extremely important nowadays. And then finally, um, that book that you see in the middle, that's a book that I've written about internet marketing for restoration contractors. And I'm going to give you a chance to get a copy of that for free. It's out on Amazon right now, but... Um, just if you stay to the end of this webinar, uh, or if you're watching the replay later, I'm going to give you a chance to get a copy for free. So you'll probably ask yourself, who am I? If you haven't heard of me before, my name is Sean McMean with Vinnie Mac Restoration Marketing, and uh, I am the founder of Vinnie Mac Restoration Marketing. I've been in the marketing industry for over 17 years, and um, my company has worked with tons of restoration contractors all over the United States, and we've generated millions of dollars in closed business, that's closed restoration business for our clients. And like I told you before, I've written a book on internet marketing for restoration contractors. That book has our complete blueprint on how we generate results. Internet marketing is complicated, 
but it doesn't have to be if you follow a process and a blueprint. That book gives you the blueprint right there. Like I said, it's available on Amazon, but I'm going to give you a chance to get a free copy if you stay to the end. So if you're excited to get that free copy, go ahead and pound a one in that uh, chat box there. Go ahead and uh, hit me up on the chat there. Hit a one, one, one if, you, if you're interested in getting that free, free book there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, it's good to see that. Awesome. Awesome. So we help restoration con contractors all over the country. Here's a couple of our clients here all over the country that we help. And the key to that is that we are trying to help 50 restoration contractors double their sales in 2021. 50 restoration contractors double their sales in 2021. Uh, there's uh, three team members there that are on our team. Uh, I've got several other team members and we just didn't get pictures in there, but um, we're small business ourselves, uh, And we have a implement implementation team that... Um, works extremely hard to get results and we have proven tactics that can get these results and our mission again is to help 50 restoration contractors and we hope you're one of those restoration contractors whether you work with us or not if you take our tactics we'd love to hear that they're going to work for you and we'd love to get some feedback on it if you've implemented some of our strategies so um we'd really appreciate it if you if you uh if you use some of our stuff if, if you give us some feedback so question for you what is the hardest part about marketing your restoration business online? Go ahead and hit us up in the chat there. And um, I know, know everybody can't see that chat there, but go ahead and hit us in the chat there um, and let me know what you think is the hardest part of, of marketing your restoration business online. Right? A um, couple things there. Yeah, it's complicated. Um, lots of people pitching me on different services. Tried it before and doesn't work. Yep. Um, takes too much time. Um, don't see the value in it. I haven't gotten return on investment. Yep. Common things we see. So here's, here's some other common things that we see. There's so much competition in your service area, right? There's so many restoration contractors out there that it's, it's extremely competitive. It's extremely competitive. There's a lot of franchises out there. There's a lot of independent uh, independent restoration contractors out there. And there's a lot of people. It's very competitive in the, in the industry. And it, it, um, sometimes it's, it's overwhelming. Another thing is we see the, the size of the loss is, is getting smaller, right? Um, insurance companies are paying less for jobs. And um, it seems like you know what you were getting for restoration or mitigation it, the jobs, job loss is getting less and less. And the, the other thing that's super, super challenging is the increased cost of getting new calls, getting new business in. Some restoration contractors that we talk to only work with insurance companies and um, only work on referrals. You know, And so if something happens with that referral partner or something happens with that insurance relationship, uh, business dries up and you and then you're in a world of trouble you're in a world of hurt so internet is extremely important and if you're not doing internet marketing out there you're missing a huge huge potential we find that 10 percent of restoration companies are getting about 90 percent of the revenue out there so huge huge uh, um, um, huge opportunity out there so if you haven't done so already, go ahead and download our booklet. Uh, let me just move my head out of the way here so you get the full URL. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and download the booklet at, uh, for this webinar at restorationmarketing.com slash workbook. And this is a workbook that you can use to, uh, you, use to fill out during this, this webinar. And there's several pages in here that we're going to talk about setting your goals and your marketing messages and and whatnot and so go ahead and download this i'm gonna give you a, a couple seconds here to go ahead and uh, go that go to that link there and download that and um if you haven't had a chance to download it it's not not the end of the world uh, but if you're watching the replay you can go ahead and download that right there and uh print that out 
uh, and you can pause the video and and come right back to it here. Uh, but this gives us a, this gives you a great guide here um, and, uh, on your goal setting for 2021. So go ahead and download that. Let's go ahead and move on here. All right. So there's so many different ways to market your restoration company, but you, we all know that we only have a limited amount of time and a limited budget, right? And so you see all these ways that you get, you get calls all the time, I'm sure for marketing services and you're skeptical about it. I have no doubt about it. You, you know, even as a marketing company, we get calls all the time, right? Um, and so here's what we found that is the sweet spot uh, to, to create an overall brand for your company. It all starts with your website at the top up here. It all starts about your website and then from there, we, we kind of encompass everything else around it, from opportunity tracking uh, to social media, to coaching your team to make sure they're uh, answering the call correctly, to reputation and re generating reviews, to pay-per-click management, making sure you're not wasting money and you're getting a return on your investment on your ad spend, to local SEO and keyword research with press releases and link building, content generation, generating relevant content or new content on your website that's going to keep Google coming back and increasing your rankings along with social media content and videos about um, your jobs and case studies are another great example. The other thing where we find restoration companies are missing out is on automated follow-ups. These are text message and email follow-ups after phone calls come in to your restoration company. If a phone call comes in after that phone call ends, one of the best things you can do is send a follow-up text message to that person and say, you know, hey, this is so-and-so, uh, I'm the owner, and I, I would please let us know if there's anything we didn't answer on the call. I'd love to help you out. So this is an all-encompassing, feel free to take a screenshot of this. This is kind of the full blueprint of everything that you need to do nowadays to really make a difference and to compete with that top 10% restoration companies out there that are getting 90% of the revenue. Marketing is a major investment and you should be investing in marketing. But the important thing here is, is to make sure you're not wasting money. Some people waste so much money with marketing because they, they just kind of fly by the seat of their pants, right? Um, you should, if you're investing a dollar, you should be getting a return of six to ten dollars, right? Not investing a dollar to get a dollar back. And so, just to kind of recap here, if if you don't have a clear plan, and if you're overspending, you're not gonna you're not gonna get the results. You're gonna be wasting money, right? You're gonna be wasting money if you don't have a clear plan and a clear blueprint. I think we'd all agree to that. I think we all understand that, you know, if you're currently struggling in in the internet marketing space and you've dabbled in it and you just haven't gotten results, it's be probably because you don't have a clear plan and objective with it. So let's get that plan in place today. Let's talk about the opportunity. Creating a clear plan with goals, targets, and KPIs. So we all know that we need to generate enough leads to hit our targets and keep our targets running. And we all know that we want to generate a return on our investment. I talked about that before. If you invest a dollar, you want to get $10 back, right? Or $8 back, right? You don't want to get a dollar for a dollar. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about maximizing the lead flow so that we can hit our sales goals in 2021. Let's talk about setting clear goals. Once you set clear goals, the wind is in your sails. You set your goals, wind is in your sails. Just think about that. I don't know if there's any sailors on here, but um, I love the sail. Uh, my favorite place to go is St. Martin, actually. Um, 
before COVID, obviously. Uh, have been there in a while, but I love to sail myself. So let's talk about a goal sell- setting framework. You need to make sure you write these goals down. You need to set at a minimum a one-year goal, a quarterly goal, and a monthly goal. Okay? And you must have a stopping point at the beginning of each new year and each quarter to reflect on those goals and how you did on those goals. So that's our framework that we're going to think of, a one-year quarterly and monthly goals. So what are your goals for 2021? If you download that booklet, you can start filling out there. But let's take a moment here to look at our goals for your restoration business. And you don't necessarily have to type in chat there, but um, let's, let's think about your goals here for your restoration business. What is your revenue target for 2021? Hopefully uh, by now you, you've got a target for 2021, what you're looking to generate from a revenue stand, standpoint and how much you need to generate from a monthly standpoint uh, to get that yearly target, right? Now the key question is how many calls will that require to get you there? And what is the average transaction value to get you there? See, a lot of people set that annual target, maybe a monthly target, but they don't look at how many calls and how many jobs that's really gonna take to get there. So that's two key pieces that a lot of people miss. And we're gonna talk about those. So let's look at an example here. If your goal is to get, to generate in revenue 1.5 million for your restoration company, how much is that on a monthly basis? That's 125,000 with an average transaction value, of, let's say um, 2,500. Now we all know that restoration jobs, if you're getting 2,500, that's probably just strictly mitigation work, right? And um, those are lower end jobs. Hopefully you're getting around 3,500 to 4,500. So this is conservative estimates here. Um, <clears throat> If you're doing putbacks, your your revenue numbers are going to be way higher than that, right? So we have clients that are doing well into three, four, five million dollars, um, and and doing six figure putbacks, right? So uh, it just depends on where you're at in your restoration business and what you're specifically doing. But in this instance, right, you need to get fifty phone calls a month, right? You need to get fifty jobs per month at twenty five hundred dollars uh, each. <clears throat> Four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars per month, and that's one point five million per year. Okay, and so kind of work out these numbers for you specifically for your restoration business. And if you break it down in that in that way, how am I going to get those fifty phone calls? How am I going to get those fifty phone calls or those fifty jobs between internet marketing, between your your referrals, between your insurance work that you're doing? That's what we want to look at, okay? Now, you can also look at this from 1.5 from just internet side, right? We have companies that uh, look at it from from the internet side alone, I want to get 1.5. Insurance, I look at it a little differently. Referral work, I look at it a little differently, right? So you can look at it that way too. How many leads will you need? What is the average conversion rate from caller to booked these are important things that you want to look at and divide your call target by um, divide your call target by your conversion rate. And this is going to give you a little bit more detail here. So here's an example. What is your average conversion rate um, from caller to book to call? So let's say it's 55%. That's a pretty low percentage right there. Um, for emergency services, I would most of the time. <clears throat> Again, if somebody's answering the phone, they're trained, and you got a call tracking system in place, and you're coaching them up, I would say that it should be north of 55%. But we're playing conservative here, okay? So let's say you had 308 calls, right? And you converted at 55%. That's 560 leads per month. That's a big number, okay? So 308, I just threw that number out there. It just depends on, again, your, what kind of efforts you're doing, how many calls you're coming in, and, and, and whatnot. So that, it just gives you some example numbers. All right, so here's another resource I'm going to give you, and this really breaks everything down um, 
from your annual revenue target to monthly target to average ticket value to the actual calls that are required from a monthly standpoint. So you'll see here in this example, if you're wanting to generate $2 million, you need to do 166,000 plus per month of average ticket of 4,500, you need to have 37 calls per month. And then the second step here talks about um, what is your average conversion rate? Let's say it's 60%. So the number of leads you need to have per month is 62. 62. And then that would mean you convert 37 of them and you'd hit your target then, right? If your average cost um, per lead generated is $180, uh, your monthly budget required to hit that amount is you're going to be spending $11,111 per lead um, from an overall standpoint to generate that number of calls. So this gives you an idea. This is um, a really in-depth chart, and if you go to that link right there, you can download this Excel document and really play around with those numbers. And um, it gives you a different type of um, resource that that other marketing companies just aren't looking at. This is this is something that, um, from a business standpoint, is game changer for a lot of restoration companies when you look at it in those specific details. All right. So hopefully this is useful. Uh, go ahead and hit a, a one there in the chat if you think this is this is a good resource out there. Awesome. <laughs> thanks. 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 I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good. 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 Okay, yeah, so go ahead and if you're watching the replay, go ahead and hit uh, go to that link there, restorationmarketing.com slash planner. And you can download that link and um, find out your specific numbers for your restoration business. All right, so we talked about goals. So what is your goal for 2021? Hopefully you, we kind of, you know, put your head around those goals there and determine how many leads you will need from a monthly standpoint. Um and and hopefully that makes sense. Use that planner and that will really help you narrow in from a monthly standpoint what it's going to take to reach that annual revenue goal. And if you're not tracking goals, if you're not writing those goals down, um, you're really just flying by the seat of your pants. All right, so let's talk about the fundamentals here. Fundamentals of your restoration internet marketing plan from the market side, from the messaging side, and the media side. Okay, let's look at this a little more detail. It's time to update your marketing message. Who is your ideal customer? Have you thought about this before? Have you thought about who your ideal customer is? Obviously somebody that has a flood in their basement or um, you know, that has mold or their house caught on fire, right? But you got to look at it a little bit more in depth, right? You got to look at, do they own a home? What's their age? Um, do they Are they family? Do they live in the suburbs? Do they live in the city? Do they have pets? Um, what kind of cars do they drive? You know, these are all important factors you want to think of and important in your marketing message, okay? So here's an example. Here, let me move my uh, head out of the way here again. So here's some demographics we look at. And a, a good avatar to start with. Your avatar might be totally different. I wouldn't think it's that drastically different, but here's a good starting point, right? So demographics, most likely you're going after homeowners, right? Or business owners, 35 years plus, typical females. Females are looking for somebody to come in and take care of the problem. We know men, right? Um, they try to do it themselves a lot, but you know, um, equal opportunity there. So, um, married with two to three kids, um, head of household, 65,000 plus depends on where you're at in, your, in the country. You know, it might be a little less than that. might be a little more family oriented, reliable, easily, um, frustrated, right? They don't want to deal with the issue. They want somebody to come in and solve the problem for them, right? Not too needy. We don't. Ideally, we want somebody that's needy and so on and so forth, right? So you kind of see that. Pains and frustrations. These are important things to pull out in your marketing, right? Um, reoccurring and water and mold issues. Um, if they have constant floods in their basement, things like that. Um, can't get a hold of the water, co uh, uh, water damage company on the phone and, um, 
you know, they're not returning your calls, right? So those are those are important things that are people get frustrated with. You got to answer that phone. Don't let it go to voicemail. Um, you know, so so these are important things to talk, think about when you're when you're setting up your marketing plan. You got to know your customers. You got to know who your target audience is. Here's some other fears and and things, fears and goals here. You know, your customers are definitely fear. They're they're getting they're feared of being ripped off or overcharged, right? Paying too much for the services. And so, if you can solve and provide solutions or answers to these fears, you're much more likely to close those deals and get on site and give that estimate, right? Your goals and desires, things that you want to um, account for when you're having conversations with them. And so the people answering your phone or people going on site, you need to have this customer avatar figured out and communicate this avatar with your entire team, especially people that are customer facing, which is a vast majority of your team, whether restoring, whether they're uh, doing natural restoration work, um, answering the phones, project managers or whatnot. Um, you've got to have a customer avatar of, and, and talk about the fears and um goals and desires of your customers. Otherwise, you know, your team doesn't know these type of things. You can't just assume they're going to know exactly what you're thinking. You have to actually communicate this with your team. So having that information is going to help you craft a message, right? And so what's your message? This is a tool in the, in the download. This is a tool that you can use here to help you craft your message. Why should someone choose to do business with you versus your competition, right? And so what I'd like you to do is on your own time here um, or in the replay, uh, use that workbook and come up three reasons why someone should use you and do business with you, okay? And then the second question in here is what's the benefit what benefits do you offer that your target customer avatar will resonate with? What benefits do you offer that your target customer avatar will resonate with? These are key questions that you need to answer and again, communicate with your team. So everybody is on the same page. Everybody needs to be on the same page and that way you know you're who your customer is. You know who who why you why people should be doing business with you, and um, you know the benefits that you offer offer to your customers. So that way, when somebody's talking to them, these are can easily be communicated. Messaging that works. So some of the things that we find that works extremely well is making sure that you use in your messaging that you offer emergency services, that your 24, uh, 24 hour service, that you provide a free quote up front. If you don't provide a free quote up front, I highly suggest you do that. Um, you provide upfront pricing or some sort of satisfaction guarantee that you're trustworthy and professional and you're a trusted contractor that you experienced and how many years experience do you have? The certifications that you have, whether you're part of the BBB, what sort of reviews you have. All of this information is key in your messaging. And you can make the case that, you know, these are other important factors as well. You're fast, you're same day, money saving offers. You can do 24 hours with no overtime charges. Overtime charges in the water damage space, maybe not for flood cleanup, right? But maybe for mold, maybe for um, for fire. You know, it just depends on what you're specifically going after, right? Maybe it's there's a military discount or senior discount or something like that. You want to communicate that out there, right? Um, and you're, you want to make sure your technicians are clean cut, nice collared shirt, um, you know, um, I'm a little scruffy here, but that's okay. You want to make sure the hair's cut though and clean and, and, and whatnot. And have a guaranteed service thing. Make sure your customers know that they're they're comfortable and they're they don't have nothing to worry about when they're doing business with you. That's all about messaging. 
So what's your message? What's your message? Make sure you go back in that workbook and talk about those benefits and talk about why somebody should do business with you versus your competitors. Use that workbook and uh, work through those questions. The, the other thing is make sure you communicate your customer avatar with your team and, um, and work through that as a, as a group together. Now let's talk about um, the media side or the, the visual side of things, I should say, right? So we talked about the market, we talked about the messaging, now let's talk about the media. Make, making sure your hub converts. You're like, what is the hub? What is the hub? Okay, let's just talk about it. The hub is your website. Nowadays, if you don't have a dialed in website, you are in trouble. You are in trouble, right? So there's several converting factors on your website. There's just a general photo of a website here. But the hub of your business is your website. That's where people find you. That's where people qualify that you're actually a legit business. Is your website set up to convert for visitors and callers? Does it have a quick call button? Does it have your phone number? Does it have your logo? Does it have the services you offer? Does it have an image of the owner? Do you have a video in there explaining what you do? Do you have all your services listed out? Here's an example of one of our clients, okay? Do you have your social media out there, right? Do you show that you're 24 seven? And if you look down further on this page, there's a contact form on there. There's customer view testimonials. And so here's an example of a bunch of different aspects that you need to look at. Your phone number, a call to action, trust signals, that you're certified, that you have Google reviews, that you have live chat, that you have your map and your location, a contact form, your social signals. These are all important factors that go into conversions what I mean by a conversion is picking up the phone or filling out a contact form. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Hopefully, hopefully I'm not losing everybody here. So I know I'm throwing a lot at you, um, throwing a lot at you. I know. So hopefully that uh, that makes sense to everybody. Um, if you uh, if you have any questions, feel free to throw it in the chat there. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay. Um, go ahead and comment on whatever channel this is on and we'll, we'll happy to answer any questions. Uh, but um, hopefully that makes sense to everybody. This is, this is a, a, a kind of a graphic representation of what all the factors you need to have on your website. All right, so is your website set up to convert? We talked about a number of those factors right there. And is your, does your website speak to your car, target customers? Does it address the fears, frustrations, and concerns that they have? Do you have, do you have authentic images? Or do you have a bunch of stock images on your website? Try to stay away from stock images. Do actual images of your work that you've done. Do you have a video on your website? Do you talk about the services? And some of the things I've already mentioned, so I'm kind of repeating myself here. But I want to make sure I'm getting the point across that all of these factors are extremely, extremely important. And if you're not doing them, there's a good chance that top 10% of those restoration companies that I talked about before that are getting 90% of the revenue, they are. So if you want to be considered in that top 10%, you need to start doing these factors here. You need to start making sure you follow the, these, type of, um, these type of blueprints here so that you can be considered top tier restoration company. All right, so there's several other factors on here as well that, that you can look at, making sure your web form is on there. Um, we have something called web, web form uh, call automation where somebody fills out a web form, uh, within 30 seconds, you get a, a phone call in your main office and uh, it says, Jane Smith needs help with water damage, got a flooded basement, whatever she put on, Jane put on that form, uh, you press one and it automatically connects you to Jane and you're talking with Jane in 30 seconds after she filled out that form. How amazing would that be, right? So if somebody fills out a form on your website now, you, you might get it four hours later and then you got to pick up the phone and call her. No more. 
No more. You don't have to worry about that. So look into something like that. All right, let's move on here. So we talked about your website. Here's a good plan. Uh, if you're, if you're um, I don't want you to pull up your website right now, but after this, pull up your website um, and, and look at those conversion factors and make sure that your website has a bunch of those conversion factors on there. And if it doesn't, make a list of those things. Look back at this replay and make a list of those things that are missing. Look at the workbook and, and uh, it'll show you as well. Make a list of those things that are missing and um, either have your team do it or reach out to us. We'll, we'll gladly um, uh, talk with you about what might be missing on there. So make those tweaks and it will improve your phone calls, I promise you. Okay. I know we've, uh, we've been in this for a little bit. Okay, so stick with me. Stick with me. I promise you we're getting there. We're getting there. This is an important thing here. I do not want you, don't want to lose you here, okay? I want to talk about unconverted leads. This is one of the biggest areas that we see restoration contractors flipping the script, okay? This is where you can make a huge difference, huge difference converting leads that don't convert on that first call. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. Here's the problem. 50 to 60% of inbound leaves calls lead leave unconverted, okay? 80 to 90% of web forms fail to convert. Why is that? Why is that? There's a number of factors probably. Number of factors and I'm sure you can think of a few of them. Leads that do not follow get followed up with within 15 minutes go cold. People are short-minded. They'll go off and do something else, contact somebody else, you know. If you don't follow up with them in 15 minutes, out of sight, out of mind. The average customer, um, you've probably heard the rule of seven. Average customer needs to follow up seven times. That doesn't always hold true in the restoration space, right? If somebody has a flood, they're gonna pick up the phone. If they trust you on the phone, Boom, they're gonna get you out there, right? Fix the problem as quickly as possible, right? But the key is that the more you follow up with them, the better chance they're gonna close. Same thing with mold jobs, fire jobs, right? Um, the key is trust, trust, having that trust with them. Today's consumer prefers to interact via text message versus a phone or email, okay? And so you have to have text messaging as part of your communication solution. Here is the solution that we recommend. We recommend leveraging a marketing automation system that I discussed before, where web forms get responded to within 30 seconds of submission via phone call, email, or text message. Right? That's the first thing that, that, that works extremely well. Again, a web form gets submitted. Jane needs help with water damage. Help, my basement's flooding. Can you send somebody out? I need help. As soon as she hits submit, your main office number, your out of office person is getting a phone call. Automated system says, new lead for water damage. Jane Smith has a flooded basement. Help, I need help with water damage. My basement is flooded. Press one to connect to Jane. You press one. It calls Jane's phone number. Hey, the, hello. And then it's you. You're talking to Jane. Hey, Jane, I understand you have a flood in your basement. Can we get out there and help you? 30 seconds. Happens that quick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. That's the first thing you need to do. Okay. The second thing is automate the follow-up um, when somebody calls in. All right. So when somebody calls in to your restoration business, they don't always convert, all right? They're price shopping, they, who, who knows why they don't convert, all right? And so what you need to do is getting, get into their text messaging, okay? You need to get into their phone, all right? And the best way to do that is send them an automated Charging text message. <laughs> Sorry about that. Send them an automated text message uh, after the call ends. Right, and so that text message is going to say, "Hey, so and so, I'm the owner of Restoration Company, and thank you for recently calling in. Uh, if there's anything we didn't answer on your call, please text us back, and we'd be happy to answer those questions." 
we find that about 40% of the time somebody's going to respond to excuse me somebody's going to respond to that game changer unbelievable game changer okay you have to be doing these things nowadays you have to be doing these things nowadays in the restoration business the the important thing is this is automated your team doesn't have to do anything nothing whatsoever the only thing your team has to do is respond if they engage with it and that's the key is just being there to respond after they engage all right so hopefully this is Shed some light on some tactics that are really going to help you convert leads. Let's show you the real numbers of here, okay? Let's show you some examples, all right? So let's say, let's say you had 100 leads and you had a conversion rate around 30% with no follow-up process, all right? And you had 30 jobs, right? And the average ticket was around $3,500. So you got about $105,000 in revenue there all right now with a follow-up rate you get 40 percent increase 40 percent engagement more on those same 100 leads now you got 70 more you got 70 jobs that's 40 more jobs okay 40 more jobs look at the difference in revenue numbers pretty dramatic pretty dramatic if you ask me right so it, the difference is night and day and hopefully you see the 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 advantage of this hope you see the advantage of this now implementing this um it, it just makes sense right it makes sense it's going to get you more revenue and it's extremely valuable and you need to implement it this into your business as you can see it can be complicated it doesn't have to be it, it doesn't have to be that complicated. It can be a little complicated to do it, um, but you need to work with an expert on that. We have solutions for that, and um, you can talk with us about that solution. But at the end of the day, if, if you implement a solution like this, you're going to see dramatic results. Look at the difference. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I hope you see the value in that. All right, so let's talk about some action items. What three conversion elements are you going to implement on your website that you don't already have? Do you have that call button at the top? Do you have a mobile-friendly website where you scroll down and that call button stays at the top? Do you have reviews on your website on every single page, not just on the home page? Do you have a web form call automation? When somebody submits your form, what happens? Does it just go into some email box somewhere? Or does it actually call your office and do you talk with them in 30 seconds? Do you have any automated follow-ups in place? So take this time to think about three conversion elements that you're going to implement on your website. Key takeaways. Hopefully you took some great insights um, and you learned some new things here. And let me know if there's anything you noticed differently. What, um, If anything you'd like to share in the chat there. Uh, again, we've got a team that's going to be monitoring that chat. If there's any questions, um, we'll be responding to them as they come. And if you're watching the replay, you can comment on any platform that you're on, whether this is YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. You can feel free to comment and ask any questions that you may have. So um, hang in there with us, guys. Don't uh, hang in there with us. So, so far, we've covered clear goals setting for 2021. Clarity on marketing message and media. We've talked about optimizations for your website and automated follow-ups. So hopefully you've gotten a lot out of this so far. We are getting close to the end here. And um, I really appreciate you sticking around. So let's talk about key trends for 2021. Do not miss this part. Hopefully you stay here for this the end of this webinar. Again, I'm going to give you a free copy of our book. Um, if you stay to the end and plus some additional resources. So key trends for 2021, Google local service ads. If you're in a bigger metropolitan area, more than likely you've heard of this. Uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the shift from phone conversions to message conversions, something really key to look forward to and must have all in perspective for SEO, PPC, 
and social media stuff. So what is Google local service ads? You'll see these across the top. They say the Google guarantee sign on them. And that's what we've got highlighted right there. These are above the ads and above maps. All right. They got the Google guarantee sign there. Um, you got a Google tracked phone number. All right. Which is different from your phone number or any tracking number. It can all relate back to another, but it's a Google number that's listed there. Excuse me. So here's a breakdown of Google services nowadays. At the very top, you've got Google Home Services or Google Guaranteed Ads. Um, there's some some interchangeable, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> interchangeable names there. You got uh, Google Ads underneath the Google Guaranteed. Then you got Google My Business or Google Maps. Then you got Google Organic or Google SEO stuff. Nowadays, 50% of the top part of the page is taken up from paid ads or the map section, right? So paid ads are extremely important nowadays to have those dialed in and you need to have your restoration business up there. That's what the top 10% of the restoration businesses are doing to generate that 90% of the revenue that they're getting. That's the key. That really truly is the key. No longer is it good enough just to have a website and do some SEO. Okay. So let's talk about how Google Local Services works. You must uh, complete the Google Local Services application. Google will run a background check on you and your employees. You don't necessarily always have to do your employees, but if they're going on site, um, you might want to throw a couple of them in there, um, at least your estimator. Uh, they do a license check um, and they do a background check and they check your um, your insurance you need to have obviously liability insurance and coverage on that um, and your business owners and all technicians um, typically will have a background check done on them so um, once approved and inactive you'll you'll basically be paying per lead somewhere around 60 80 dollars per lead depending on your competition and how many people in that area and it just varies. It varies depending on the whether you're going after water, fire, mold. You, you can you can add in services in there. Some of you do rebuilds and and um, um, remodels and stuff like that too. You can add all that stuff in there as well. Feedback from active users that are using this service: it's lower cost per lead than pay per click, higher quality leads than Home Advisor. And um, you can set some. Um, you can you can get some price shoppers. Um, you still get some price shoppers, and and you have to follow through quickly. So you 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 do have to follow through, and you will get price shoppers. Um, but you do have a solid return on investment uh, from this. Um, the good thing about this is is if if it's not a qualified lead that comes in, you can dispute that lead from Google Guaranteed Services or Google Local Services. You can dispute that. If you don't provide a service and they called you, uh, you can say, I don't provide this service or it wasn't a qualified lead if you have proof that you don't provide that. And you, then you don't pay for it. So if, you, if you're if you interested in lo Google Local Services, take a look um, at this link here and um, you can complete the background check and um, you know, go ahead and fill out the information and it, it, it will, it definitely helps. It definitely helps. As you can see, it's right at the top up there. You can, um, you can make a big difference and you can, you can, uh, add another footprint on that homepage for your important terms that you're going after water damage, flood, mold, fire damage, and all those terms. So now let's talk about building your 2020 plan. Again, stay with me. We're getting close to the end here. Stay with me. Let's build your plan for 2021. All right. We talked earlier about this all-encompassing plan and all these things that you need to talk about. Things that, that you need to do from an internet marketing standpoint, right? Before we get into that plan, let me share with you some case studies. All right. So here's a client of ours, ABC Environmental Contracting. They... Um, have a website that's built to convert. They have SEO that's built in. They have Google Maps. They have a focus on getting online reviews and, um, and reputation. 
this is their stats from last year. 2.5 million in leads generated, all right? Here's another client. This is for a couple months here, 480,000, okay? Here's another client, 1.2. So if you're looking at this, this works, this works. All right, so some action items. Let's talk about action items. What are your top three internet marketing initiatives that you need to implement for your 2020 goal? What are the top three internet marketing initiative plans for your 2020 goal? So are you gonna make some changes to your website? Are you gonna sign up for Google local services? Are you gonna implement web to form call animation? Are you gonna implement call tracking? Are you gonna implement follow-up text messaging? So some key questions that you need to answer. Um, that workbook that we have has those questions set in there. So um, feel free to drop those comments there in the chat if you uh, have any questions there. Uh, if you're watching again on the replay, go ahead and comment anywhere in there. And let the, let us know what your top three are. You know, so, so yeah, you know, there's a good one. You know, implementing the follow-up text messaging, 40% conversion. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. 40%. Yeah. Um, another one, you know, putting the mobile call button at the top. A lot of people forget that. Make sure your web team has that in place. Right. Another key thing. Yes. Another key thing is making sure that you have your reviews and testimonials on your website. You work so hard to get those testimonials. Make sure they're on your service pages and every other page on your website. All right. So what we, we covered today was we set goals for 2021, how many leads you need to target, the three fundamentals of marketing success, how to optimize your website for conversion in 2021, the big picture in all your online marketing channels and where you need to be targeting. We saw that little circle there, all those little um, areas that you need to be hitting. The latest trends, right, that we talked about, uh, Google local services, and some of the ways you need to be talking about conversion, make, uh, conversions for web forms to follow up text messaging and whatnot. And we developed a plan of action, right? You, you created your top three things that you're going to work on. All right. And you use that download booklet to, um, to, to actually document that, right? And set those goals and targets. Hopefully you downloaded that planner where we talked about setting your revenue targets, right? We set your revenue targets per, per year, per month, how many calls you actually need at your conversion rate to get uh, your revenue targets. So hopefully you found that helpful. So I really appreciate you being on this webinar. And, you know, there's so many resources that we have for you that you can download. I mentioned before that, that we're going to give you the resources for um, our checklists and also get you um, a copy of our book. So in order to get those resources, you can go to restorationmarketing.com to download the re those resources. Anybody that's on this webinar, you can go there and then go ahead and put in that download form that you are on the webinar and those resources are yours for free. So we have the ultimate checklist for your marketing, the, the 10 keys that for online marketing success for your restoration company. We have the advanced technical on-page SEO strategies. We've also got the diagram there that shows you all those key thing metrics that you need to, um, need to implement. And then again, you can download a copy of the book, Internet Marketing for Restoration Contractors. So if you are like other restoration contractors, your time is extremely valuable and Maybe you don't have enough time to do this or you don't have a team in place to do this for you. And you might need just need some help. You might need some guidance. And you'd like to talk about, you know, how this information could really help your restoration company and how you can get in that top 10% of restoration companies that are getting 90% of the revenue, 90% of the jobs. I'd love to talk with you. You can send me a text to 314-582-5210. You can also give me a call there. Or you can visit our website and book a time with me at restorationmarketing.com slash calendar. 
And I'd be happy to join a, a short conversation with you and talk about specifics for your company. It's not a sales call whatsoever. I do not want to sell anything to you on the call. I'd love to learn a little bit about your business and you know, see if I can help you answer any questions that you might might have about our webinar today or anything specifically about online advertising or internet marketing in specific or your website. Um, we'd be happy to uh, take 15 minutes out of our day to get dedicate tour uh, dedicate to your restoration company. So I look forward to chatting with you soon. If you have any questions, again, you can give us a call at 314-582-5210 or give us a text message as well. You can always book a time with me for a 15-minute phone call, restorationmarketing.com slash calendar. Thank you, thank you so much for hanging in with us uh, for this webinar. All this success to you in 2021, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.